Hi guys, in this video we're gonna learn about how to use fillets and chamfers in our 2D sketches and how to insert text in our 2D sketch. We will also learn about how to write text on a curved surface. So let's start with the fillet first. This is our first example. In this we have two lines crossing each other. So just go to fillet command and we can select these two lines wherever we want to place our fillet. I want to apply fillet over here. So select this line and select the second line and you will get a fillet preview in this yellow color. We can change the radius of this fillet by clicking on this fillet and drag it over to our desired radius. Just click OK and we have our fillet. Insert the value here as 20. Press enter and select these lines. Now click OK. And now we have got a fillet of 20 mm radius. Just click OK. Now under fillet radius we have two more options which is keep constraint corners and dimension each fillet. Let's see the second one first if we check it and select all the corners available on this rectangle. Now click OK and we can see we have got dimensions on all the four fillets. Just click OK. Now in this example, I have given dimension to two sides of this rectangle. Let's say if we apply a fillet to this corner, these dimension will be removed. But if we want to keep these constraints over here, we can select keep constraint corners. First we will fillet this corner without this option, keep constraint corners. Just select this. And click OK. Now we can see the dimension which we have applied previously are now removed. Now let's check this option this time and apply fillet on this corner. Then click OK and click OK again. Now here we can see our dimensions are intact. When we don't check dimension each fillet and apply fillets on every corner of this sketch, it will dimension only one fillet of this rectangle. Just click OK. Now let's see how we can apply a chamfer to a sketch's corner. So select this arrow over here and select chamfer. Now we have got two types of chamfers over here. First is angle distance and second one is distance distance type. So let's begin with the first one. So we have to give distance over here. Let's say 20. And the angle is 35. Click on two lines of any corner and you'll get the chamfer aligned at 35 degree angle. We can undo these changes from here and we can change the value if we want. Let's say 50. And this time I'm gonna give angle as 60. Press enter and select this line. And we have a chamfer. Over. Now click OK. And let's move on to our next chamfer type, which is distance distance type. Select chamfer and go to distance distance. In distance distance type, we can apply unequal distances in these D1 and D2. I'm going to give D1 as 55 and D2 as 60. Now click on these lines and we have our chamfer. Now if we want to create this chamfer as equal distances, Undo this and select equal distances. Now here you can see the D2 distance is now removed from here. And we can freely select these lines and it will create equal distance chamfer. Now click OK. Now that we have learned about fillet and chamfer, let's move on to our text. Just click on text and here you can see to start with the text, we need a curve here. So first, I'm going to create a line, straight line and a spline as well. Now go to the text again and type your text over here. You can see over here, if we don't select a curve, the text is start appearing on the origin. So just select a curve and now our text is 
at the beginning of this line. So I'm going to make some changes to make it more clear. We can use these text alignments like center align and to change its font, just uncheck use document font and select font over here. Now here, change its size to whatever we want. Let's say 20 and we can also change its font over here in font style. Just click OK. As you can see, our text appears bigger now. Just go to font again and we can increase its size 50. And we can also give font style as bold. Now let's see what will happen if we change the curve. So just right click and clear the selection. Here you can see our text has jumped back to the origin. So just select this curve now. Now we know our text orientation changes according to the curve. We can also invert it and we can also flip it. I'm going to change the curve again. If you want to use the whole line, just select this alignment, fully justify or in the middle or we can change the width of this text by using this option. Just increase it or decrease. We can also increase the spacing between these letters by using this option. Just increase this and you can see the spacing between these letters is increased. Now just click OK and our text has been created. If you want to extrude this text, just, just select this line and this curve and convert it to a construction element by checking on for construction. Then click OK. Now these construction line won't appear in 3D modeling. Now let's see how we can write text on a curved surface. So let's take another example of a 3D part. Now here we have a 3D part and we want to place our text on this face. But when we select this face, we can see we don't have create a sketch option over here. So if we want to create text on this face, we need to project the text on this face. To do that, we need a plane at some distance. Just click on reference geometry and plane. And we need a plane which is parallel to this face. So just open up this tree and we can see we have right plane on this side. And if we want a plane over here, we can increase the distance from here and click OK. Now select this plane and we have a sketch option over here. Just select it and we're going to create a straight line over here to write our text. Just select a center line and create a straight center line over here. Now select text and write your text over here. Just select the curve and change its font size. Let's say 60 and exit this sketch. Now here we can see we have our text on this plane and we need to project this text on this face. So in order to project this text on this face, go to curves and select a split line. Now make sure the projection is selected over here. Select the sketch and select the face. Now click OK. I'm going to hide this plane. Here you can see we have got a nice text on this face. Now here we can see all the areas inside the text are now a different face. So we can apply different color on these faces. Right click on any face, go to appearance, select face and select any appearance from this appearance list. So I'm going to apply some paint over here. So go to paint, go to car and I'm going to select this gloss red. Just drag it over here and drop it. We can add more faces in this list. So just click on here and now keep selecting the faces.
and click OK. If we need to apply the same appearance on any other faces, just right click on this appearance and select copy appearance and right click on any other face and select paste appearance then select face. I'm going to apply more appearance from here. Select this and select this gloss blue drag and select a split line here. Just copy this appearance, right click on this face and select paste appearance. Now that we have learned how to apply fillet, chamfer and how to write text on a curved surface. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to get more interesting tutorial videos on SOLIDWORKS. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.